Hey there, Steve Rubis with another installment of Capital Markets Investor Relations in two minutes or less. Today, you are looking live from the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. And if you're a public company executive, you want to have a Hall of Fame career. If investors are one trade away from humility, public company management teams are one decision away from having a Hall of Fame career. And there's two major ways that a public company executive presents him or herself from a Hall of Fame career. And the first is making decisions that break investor mandates. Are you cavalier with decisions like changing dividend policy or something else that could churn your investor base in a week? And then secondly, just like Peyton Manning is judged on Super Bowl wins, wins and losses, passing yards and touchdowns and interceptions, management teams and public companies are judged on how they execute each quarter. Every business has a simple, golden metric they need to execute on in a given quarter. If you're a data center REIT, you need to put leasing of space and power on the board. If you're an offshore oil driller like Transocean, you need to put backlog on the board every quarter. You can't take a quarter off. Now, a good or professional management team understands that they can take business at a low price to put business on the board, or they can wait for surge pricing. Now, the Hall of Fame management team understands that there is a balance between those two points, and they execute on that balance each and every quarter over several quarters in several years. If you're struggling or unsure if you're on track for a Hall of Fame career as a public company executive, let's get in touch. I do a great job of helping companies get back on track and turn themselves around. Always here to help, and thanks for watching.